Hi guys, this is Deepak with 91 Mobiles and I have in my hands the brand new HTC U Ultra. A pretty exciting smartphone from HTC after a very long time and the U Ultra comes loaded with top-notch specs and some pretty interesting features. So let me quickly run you through everything that this device brings to the table. This phone comes with a 5.7 inch Quad HD display and is powered by a Snapdragon 821 processor mated to 4 gigs of RAM, the 64 GB of inbuilt storage. Remember, this is a dual SIM hybrid device, so you can pop in a micro SD card, a 3000 mAh battery, USB type C port, NFC, is a 12 ultra pixel rear camera with optical image stabilization, face detection autofocus, and laser autofocus as well. A 16 megapixel camera at the front. This runs Android Nougat with HTC's proprietary skin. Now one of the mainstays of this device is this 2 inch ticker display on top just like the LG V20. Design wise it's a pretty sleek looking phone, very slim, made of plastic and glass. It's a bit of a fingerprint magnet as you can see but quite sleek nonetheless. As far as controls and port placement is concerned, you get a volume rocker and power key on the right, speaker and USB Type-C port at the bottom. The hybrid SIM tray on top, nothing on the left spine. Now, another interesting feature that HTC has added to this phone are four always-on low-power microphones that always listen to your commands. It also comes with HTC's Sense Companion, which as per the brand, is a smart assistant which is AI based and keeps improving over time. Now it'll take some time for us to get to the specifics of that. But here's a quick look of the phone's UI. The usual HTC camera app which also includes a pro mode, the home button on the chin which integrates a fingerprint scanner. So the HTC U Ultra is a pretty loaded smartphone. Priced at rupees 59.90, doesn't come cheap and will be available in India starting early March. So that was a quick hands-on of the HTC U Ultra. Thanks for watching.